darkness. Like, I beat Dancer on New Game 10 or something, which doesn't matter, I guess, after 7, but in Dark Souls 3, with just doing the same spell there. Of course, it was called another thing there. Okay, now I got only one of them to come, which is good. It's easier to do crowd control against just one guy. I think this one should pretty much kill him. It's a little bit annoying, but um, that's how you do it in my opinion. Oh, wrong spell, wrong spell. God damn it. Why do they have similar names? Comet and Comet Azure. Okay, there we go. One out. Two left. I highly recommend this strategy for anyone who doesn't want to take on three of these guys at the same time. Just make sure you don't hit more than one of them with the mist. Well, I hit nobody with the mist. Because I didn't want to risk it. And you especially don't want to piss off the magic one. Oh, there we go. Pissing off the magic one is the big mistake to do here because then that one, even if it comes to their soft limit over here, can still spam at you. Fuck you, buddy. Yeah, you didn't expect that, bitch. And goodbye. All right. If you don't want to spend 10 minutes trying to kill it, that's another way. Not as safe, but another way. Okay, so that leaves only the last guy. Now this last one is a little bitch. Have to be really careful with him. I don't, I don't know what is a good strategy. Maybe if I just sneak up and do a backstab. Uh-oh. Well, let's just keep doing this until he doesn't get up. That way, he can't spam its fucking magic. There we go. What up, dog? Nope, no magic. Nope, stay the fuck down. Nope. Stay down, I said. And that, my friends, is why I love this fucking sword. Ooh, rather than crystal sword. Does it do uh, rot damage, I assume, based on the name? It's kind of funny because now there's like two of them. But this one has no passive effects. Yeah. Rot build up, correct. 